if you even look or you even research on how to lose a stone in a week, I tell you what, I'm gonna slap you through the screen. <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new hello welcome yes yeah, say hello as i was saying if you're welcome if you're, uh, if you're new to this channel hi hello my name is chloe and if you're a subscriber then welcome back to the party okay so obviously if you've clicked on this video then you're obviously a going on holiday b thinking of a holiday or c just want to get in shape for summer Obviously, I think we all want all three of those things, but what are you doing? Little disclaimer, if you're wondering why he has got a coat on, it's not a thermal coat like people keep asking me. It is a cool coat. Underneath his fur, it's very, very cool. Hence the name, cool coat. Now I've got that out of the way with. <laughs> okay, but I have to throw out a few disclaimers. Number one. I am not going to teach you how to lose like two stone in a week. Not gonna happen. A healthy weight loss is say a pound to half a pound a week, depending on what your weight is. Some people, if you're heavier, it might be a little bit more. If you're lighter, then it'd be a little bit less. But obviously, I am not going to tell you how to lose a ton of weight in a week. There is nothing better than a slow and steady weight loss if you want to keep the weight off permanently. However, that being said, there are a few things that you can do to make yourself feel better, whether that be you actually look cleaner or toned in a space of a week, or it's just mentally you feel better about yourself in that week. So that being said, disclaimer, ding. you do not need to go on a diet or take pills or anything to get a bikini body. All you simply have to do is literally put a bikini or a swimming costume, swimming costume, whatever you want, and you're done. You've got your bikini body, your swimsuit body, your summer body. Every body is ready for summer. You do not need to prepare yourself for it. It's not like you're an animal and you go in hibernation getting ready for the winter. You are always ready for summer, no matter what. What my tips are going to do is to pray, uh, is just to get you a little bit, or itch, a little bit more prepared for summer and make you yourself feel a little bit more confident. Because there's nothing worse than laying on the beach, laying on the pool and hating your body and feeling like you have to keep covering your belly, sticking a towel around you, you name it. I've been there, done it, bought the t-shirt, honey. So, with that being that said, I have five... And I mean, five tips. Number one. This is going to be based around your food. Do not, and I repeat, do not take any pills, any stupid fad diets, whether that be Atkins, whether that be the cabbage soup diet or the 5-2 diet. Don't do any of them rubbish because... They are just not realistic. They are not gonna keep your weight off. They are not gonna help your body. They are not gonna help your mindset. They are just gonna put you on a very, very steady slope down to unhappiness. What I advise, and as a professional, I'm not one of those girls on YouTube that are throwing out diet and food advice and haven't got any qualifications. I have spent four years, four years at university trained to be a dietitian. I have spent over a year within hospitals and communities gaining experience. I'm paid my ad. And I also now have a registered dietitian qualification under the healthcare professionals. So you can say from me, I know what I'm talking about. And I'm not just some fad person on the internet giving out random advice. I actually know what I'm on about. I myself have clients that I, excuse me, I'm busy, that I have meetings with, that I have emails back and forth with to help them with their weight loss or their medical conditions, whatever that might be. Okay, that being said, as I said, I went off a bit of a tangent there, but diet advice. 
I know what I'm talking about. So when I talk about diet, you can take it from me. Now, if your holiday is, say, three months time, and you do want to get into a little bit more of a, a more comfortable size for yourself, then there's nothing better than your portion control, your fluid intake, your fruit and vegetables, and a balanced, balanced diet. Now, dietitians, we're not the food police. I'm not gonna come around and judge you on your meal. I can guarantee you I've probably got the exact same thing on my plate that you've got. One difference, I've learned how to eat in moderation. I've learned how to know when I'm full. I've learned to know about balance. And I also know how to make the right choices. So, that being said, if you've got a long period of time, implement those, I know they're quite broad, and if you, oh, I'm so sorry. If you want me to make more detailed videos about certain things, and I'm more than willing to, just leave me a comment, and I'll be happy to do it, or give me a like, and I'll make more videos. But, just a simple, broad umbrella, if you like. Balanced diet, increasing your fruit and veg, water, exercise, the whole branch, is what you need to do in order to lose weight, maintain it and in a healthy, healthy way. But that being said, if you have only just got a week or a couple of days, these tips that I'm giving you are primarily just to make you yourself feel better about yourself. Okay, so the first tip I can give is exactly what I just said about diet. If you try and eat, I'm just going to say the word cleaner because if you try for the next few days to eat vegetables, fruit, raw foods if you like, so not raw foods but um, clean foods, so like your rice, your pasta, your oats, your fruit, your vegetables, your meats, anything that hasn't been processed, if you stick to foods like that for a few days, one, you'll feel a little bit less bloated. Two, mentally, you'll feel better about yourself. And three, also, you'll find that your digestion is a lot better. So you won't feel as bloated and you'll be a bit more regular. Okay, so if you do those tips, you'll find that you'll feel a lot better in yourself. And you'll probably find that when you're not as bloated, you will look a little bit slimmer. Which is brilliant if that's what you're aiming for, because that's the whole point of you clicking on this video. Okay. Under the whole diet theme again, we have water. Now, if you increase your fluid, the minimum you should be drinking a day is two litres. That's what the national guidance is. Minimum two litres. Two litres. Two litres a day. Now, if you were to aim for two, or if you're already drinking two, aim for three, aim for two and a half. Increase your water intake, because if you do that, one, you stay hydrated, your skin will look clearer, you'll feel fuller, and you won't feel as bloated, because it's flushing all those toxins out of your body. So you're feeling a lot more energized, you're feeling a lot more better about yourself, you're not as groggy, you're not as tired, the water, it's a pro I know people, people go on and on and on about but it's true. If you increase your water intake, you will feel better about yourself. It's a known fact. 100% fact. Now, ways you can do it. You can carry a bigger jug. You can carry a water bottle around with you. You could add... Ugh. You could add juice into it. You could add fruit into it. You name it. If it makes you drink it, you add it. Because the main goal is just to increase our water intake at the end of the day. Okay, number three. But this one is under more of an exercise thing. Now one of the tips you can do is, and how please, I've been there, I've done it before I learned don't go doing like two hours of cardio a day because it's not gonna work. You're gonna feel shattered, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's really not worth it and it's not sustainable. What I would advise is to do a little bit of cardio, but 
don't overdo it as I just said. Maybe do 15 minutes at the end of your workout. Whether that be a walk, a run, a row, do a Zumba class, do a Pilates, do box fit. Do you mind, sir? Do something that you enjoy. You can do two X types of two, two types of exercise, like meaning in the cardio form. You can do LIS or you can do HIT. LIS is low intensity. I'm sorry, but my dog is chewing my arm like a bloody chicken wing. Yes, so if you do LIS, that means walking, it means going for a fast walk, it means going at a steady pace on your bike. Anything that isn't very strenuous, but it's exercise at the end of the day. It's low intensity. That in the name, low intensity. Ah, oh, Bailey! And then you've got HIT. HIT is, stands for High Intensity Interval Training. HIT. This is where you try and get your heart rate really high, then you bring it back down. Then really high, then bring it back down. So some examples could be sprints on the treadmill, it could be sprints on the bike, it can be jumping, skipping, anything. So what you would do is say 20 seconds really intense, getting your heart rate going and then you rest for say 30 or 40 seconds and you repeat and repeat and repeat. That is high intensity. Now with doing that you'll find that you're sweating more and you and yourself you'll feel better about yourself because you feel like you've done some work. And that way, even though you may not look different, mentally, you'll feel better about yourself, which is the main thing. Seriously. I love you. Another thing that you can do along the exercise sort of bandwagon is to train your abs. Now, whether that be crunches, cable pulls, uh, planks, um, oblique dips. If you add two or three ab exercises a week into your, you will feel better. You'll feel your core feeling a little bit tighter. You'll feel better about yourself. And if you're one of those lucky buggers, you'll probably find that your abs will pop out a little bit more. And at the end of the day, if that makes you feel better, then that's another brownie point for you. Moving away from the whole diet and exercise, they are the main key things that you need to do. They are the things that are going to help you either lose weight, feel better about yourself, lose the bloating, anything along those lines. That's what they're gonna do. But this last tip is more of a physical appearance sort of look. Now, don't, What I found, I never used to believe it. I find that tanning, not sunbeds, no, 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 not sunbeds. I'm a very big skin protecting person. If you do fake tan, if you do a spray tan, if you do anything along those lines, you will feel more confident about yourself. And believe it or not, it does actually make you look leaner or toner or slimmer. It does actually do it. And not only that, you feel better about yourself, you feel more confident, you feel happier, and they are the two main things you want, to feel confident and to feel happy on your holiday. Or whether it's just in general, they are the two main things you want, is to feel more confident about yourself. Now, you can do the gradual ones, you can do the ones you get in a bottle. I myself is currently using St. Tropez, St. Tropez, Gwendin, no, Bondi Sands, Bondi Sands, I'm using that one. I love it, it smells like coconut, I really, really enjoy that one. Um, what else could you do? Yep, so I really like the tanning. Obviously in the UK it's absolutely bloody boiling, so you could probably find that you get suntan yourself. But please, please, please put the sun factor on. Back to 50, you're good to go. Okay. And then another tip you could do. Oh, Jesus, I am so sorry. Pardon me. Is you can get your nails done. 
and also get your hair done. Those, well, I obviously need mine done. If you get them other two things done, then again, it will boost your confidence, you'll feel better about yourself, you'll feel happier, you'll feel more pretty. If that makes you feel better about yourself, I'm all for it. So, again, book yourself in, get that done. You don't even need to waste the money. If you can do it yourself, you do it yourself. You're probably going to do a better job anyway, to be honest. Okay, so, to summarise everything that we've spoken about, we have diet. And under diet, we obviously have the increase in your fruit and veg, the voluminous foods, the clean foods, the unprocessed foods. That was under the diet umbrella. Then, we have the exercise side of things. Under this, we have the, the cardio. Remember, we're not going to turn into cardio bunnies. We're just doing a little bit here and there. And then we also have about ab exercises. Obviously, I haven't actually got like decent abs. I'm one of those poor buggers that carry it all on their belly. So I'm always the last ones to spot it. And then another thing that we can do is for our personal self is maybe get a spray tan, get your nails done, get your hair done. Whatever makes you feel good about yourself. So, all that being said, one final, final disclaimer is that no matter what you look like, no matter who you are, you should feel confident about yourself on holiday. Please don't be worried about what other people are thinking because I can guarantee you, I learned this myself, you're laying there paranoid about what the person next to you is thinking what the person opposite you is thinking. Oh God, if I walk into the swimming pool, are people going to be looking at me? Nobody's looking at you. Everyone's too self-conscious about their self. Or they're too busy having fun on their holiday that they even notice what you look like. The only person you need to worry about impressing is yourself. That is the only person you need to worry about is you. Please promise me that you are not going to ruin your holiday worrying about A, what people think, and B, please do not go on a diet while you're on holiday. Do not be going, I've done this myself and I hate myself for it. If I could go back in time and slap myself, I would. While you're on holiday, don't be leaving off salads. Don't be just skipping meals for it. Don't be living off of fruit on holiday because you're scared you're going to get fat. You're on holiday, enjoy yourself. If it's for a week, two weeks, a couple of days, what is that out of 365 days in a year? If you are good, oh, I say good, but if you are balanced, you're healthy, and you look after yourself for the entire year, one week is not going to set you back. If you've lost, say, a stone, you are not going to put a stone on in a matter of a week. It's not going to happen. It really is and truly not. Take it from a professional standpoint. You will not gain tons and tons of weight when you're on holiday. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. And remember, if you feel confident, if you feel happy, you will look amazing in your body. Whether you're a size 6, a 16 or a 36. You will look amazing, you will look beautiful. If you feel beautiful in yourself, you will outshine anyone else on that beach. Just remember to stay happy and believe in yourself. I hope these tips are useful. I myself use them now. I used to be one of those people that would panic the life out of me and try and eat just salads for weeks and weeks before a holiday because I was petrified of looking chubby. But then I made myself miserable on holiday again because then I was so worried about my weight. It's not worth it. If I could go back, I would. But I'm not gonna get that time back. And I will never, ever, ever go back to doing that again. It is just not worth it. It really isn't. Because you only live once. You only get to be a teenager once. You only get to be in your 20s for so minute, so long. Only you get to be in your 30s for so long. Don't waste it worrying over food and body types. At the end of the day, if you're healthy, if you're happy, 
and that's all that matters. No matter what your size, you are ready for summer. You don't have to punish yourself and think you're not worthy of going on holiday just because you've quite gained a couple of pounds or just because you don't look like the girl laying next to you. You're all worth it, you're all stunning and that's me telling you off if you're thinking of going on some stupid diet. Take it from me, if you even look or you even research on how to lose a stone in a week, I tell you what, I'm going to slap you through the screen. <laughs> so please, just remember, take my advice and you'll be fine. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that little, ring the bell? Click on the little bell so you never miss another video with me again. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.